Welcome back to GB's Card Show. Today, we are going to see my reveal of my latest SGC submission. Pretty good size submission here. It's pretty dominated by basketball. Uh, not just the current season, but right now I've had a little bit of a fix with Hall of Fame players, some vintage basketball. And so let's break these out and see how we did. I can't remember the exact card total on this one. I did see uh, when the grades popped that a card was not graded, um, something they don't grade. It looks like in the very bottom of that stack to the left, that card is rubber band into the stack. So, Let's take these down and see what we got. Try and be as quick and interesting as we possibly can, but certainly I'm kind of excited over this one. I think a lot of these are cards that I will keep for my PC in the future. No matter what the grades are, and certainly if I hit some high grades, it's awesome. All right. Uh, I did have a friend buy out a collection with a bunch of cards, baseball, basketball, and football. And so I was able to get a hold of a couple sets, like 81 Tops Basketball and 88 Fleer, and uh, bought a box of 97 Tops Basketball, you name it from him. So we'll start out with some 97 Tops Basketball. Tim Duncan rookie there, nine and a half, really good. And got two of them here. And so, and even better, got a 10 on that one. Quite a bit of Michael Jordan stuff in this too. Always like to submit Jordan stuff. There's a 93, 94 upper deck coming in at a nine and a half. Very nice. Here is the classic 1990, 91 hoops, Michael Jordan at a nine. Really good looking card at a nine there. I thought this one had a shot, it was dead centered. Very nice, very pleased with that. Got the 92, 93 upper deck Jordan. Coming in at a nine, awesome. Very pleased so far here. Got the 93, 94 scoring leader, Jordan Tops Gold. Very sweet, coming in at a nine. Had bought a box that Tops, 93, 94 also. A Tops Finest Ken Griffey Jr. 1995 at a six. This is one of those where it's probably a good lesson. I probably should have pulled the coating off of the card and it would have done better. Great centering, great look to the card, but the coating's probably got some scratches or smudges to it. And you can kind of see a little bit of uh, clarity issue for the surface on the coating. Might crack it one day if there's some need to. 2002 Topps Originals, really cool set of baseball cards here. On the Pujol second year card at a nine, very nice. And another Pujol second year card at a nine and a half. Top's original, really cool set. Features that 84 Donners look, 86 Donners, 88. You know, all those years are kind of thrown in there and mixed in there with the players of that early 2000s time period. The classic 1990 score, Bo Jackson at an eight. I thought that one had a pretty good shot as far as centering, looked really good. Cool card always, very iconic. Had some Derek Jeter cards I submitted in this. This is an upper deck vintage Jeter coming in at 10. Got that 63 tops look, even though it is an upper deck card. Thought that was cool. Some of the SPX die cut stuff. There's a Griffey here, 96 upper deck SPX at an eight, pretty solid. Got a little die cut hologram over the top, the card started getting a little crazy in the 90s like that. Here's the same thing in the Derek Jeter. You got a seven on that one. Pretty cool card still. Fleer Traditions 2003 for Fleer Hardball. Jeter, die cut at a nine, very cool, very cool. Oh, 
1971 Topps Trios, Charlie Scott rookie. Carolina guy there. Very cool card. Now it looks like we get into that vintage basketball mode. Got a Kareem coming up here, 72, 73 Topps Kareem. Wow, that's big. That's very nice. Very nice on the Kareem. Or Lou Alcindor. Very pleased with that. Wow. On the 73, 72, 73, Wilt Chamberlain at a four. I think that's better than I thought it'd be. There was some surface stuff going on there. And of course the centering, but uh, very pleased with that. Good looking submission so far, folks. Um, next up, we got the Jerry West in that 72, 73. At a six, very nice, man. I thought you got the print dots here and here and a little bit of fade to the color, but that's a good looking card. Jerry West has six. Oh man, look at that. There's the Phil Jackson at an eight. Did pretty good on some of these vintage basketball cards. Very sweet looking card. The Maverick, Charlie Scott. Second year Charlie Scott here at a seven. Hit some sevens and eights on some 72 tops basketball. Not dissatisfied with that. Here's 72, 73, Kareem, All-Star at a two. This is one of those, don't care, love it. Got Wilt gardening, starting the hook on, the, on Wilt. I really like that card. Here we go. Got a little run of Dr. J coming up here. In the 74, 75 tops, Dr. J in a six. So sweet. Again, had some print dots in here. Kind of worried me, but that's a solid grade. Knew the card was pretty crisp and clean, but man, pretty nice, pretty nice. There's the 77, 78, Dr. J. Very cool. There's the 78, 79, Dr. J. And a seven. It looks like we're gonna run on some 78, 79s. There's a Bill Walton at a six. I thought that was a pretty good looking card. 81 tops, Magic Johnson. Oh, very nice. Very solid in that. I also submitted the bird in this, and so I'm hoping it, it looked very nice. There's the in action, super action magic in the 81, 82 tops. These are some of their first solo cards. Now we're on to the bird. Oh, at a seven. Look how centered that is though. I really, I thought that would have been the higher one. In action, super action, Larry Bird at a six. All very solid, very pleased so far. Here's Kareem at a seven. Sweet. And then there's Super Action. Kareem at an eight. Love it. It's like he's taking the sky hook over Elvin Hayes there. I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's who that is. Dr. J. Oh, good looking card there. Usually always got a center in the problem with this card. 1988 Fleer, Michael Jordan. Boom, boom. Look how nice and centered that one is. Very cool. Dennis Rodman, 88, rookie. At a nine, that's sweet. Reggie Miller, rookie, 88, Fleer. At a nine, I like this run so far. Let's keep them all going there. That's probably the highest I've ever done on the Reggie, rookie. Submit it, John Stockton, bam. Even higher, nine and a half. Wow, that is sweet. Here's the Pippin rookie. Oh, eight and a half. Still pretty solid there. Jump from some basketball over to baseball. Favorite pitcher all time, Bob Gibson rookie. At a three. That's a little better than I thought. I knew the center was bad and there were some wrinkles it almost looked like down here along the edge that is pretty pretty nice very pleased with that my favorite catcher 
Elston Howard at a three on the 56 tops. Really thought that looked better than a three. The card was very clean for a 56 tops, but I'm really pleased with that. Still, can't help but love it. I'm trying to see, oh, there's a little bit of a stain up here or something, maybe that hurt it, but all in all, really cool looking card. 86 Fleer Sticker Magic Johnson at a six. That's pretty solid on that card. Those are tough. Back to basketball we go. Bill Walton rookie. Bill Walton. Dang, that's pretty good. Heck yeah. I thought I saw a slight indentation in here on that card, so I was a little bit worried it was gonna be low, but that's I'm very pleased with that. Very nice. Um, and there's the Dr. J rookie. Now, this one does have a surface crease right here, but look how nice it looks. I mean, that is as good as it gets for me with that surface crease, getting that three on that card. Um, you can see the crease, but it's really got some eye appeal going there. 80 tops, Bird, Cartwright, Drew. At a six, pretty good looking stuff there. And then we got the Boom Cheeks and Magic 80 tops. If I can get it out of the rubber band here. At an eight, very nice. Very pleased with that, wow. Flipping back to some more Vintage basketball. Horace McKinney. Bones McKinney. And the 48 Bowman. This is actually my father-in-law's card. He, he wanted me to submit that for him. That's the only one in this submission. Usually I've got a handful. But this is the only one this time. Very sweet card. I think you'll be pleased with that. Wow. Look at the Rick Berry. Did good on the 72, 73 tops. Um, and even my... Dr. J rookie with a little bit of crease in it. Here's a Will Chamberlain, 73, 74 tops at a five. Really cool. Really cool. There's the 71, 72 tops, Will. Had some surface stuff going on, a little crease up there, but all in all, I am tickled with that. Very nice. It's uh, another vintage Upper Deck Vintage Jeter. Oh, a nine and a half. Hadn't seen a bunch of tens. Of course, I've submitted some older cards. I kind of got a kick out of these Upper Deck Vintage because they are tops cards or the looks of it and Upper Deck put them out. There's, oh man, look at the Upper Deck, the uh, Tops All-Star Dr. J Rookie. That's big, beautiful, at a seven. So nice. Billy Cunningham, got a lot of these Carolina guys. Wow, <laughs> wow, seven and a half on the Billy Cunningham. Very nice, did really good on the 72, 73s. That's solid on the cream there in the 74, 75 tops. At a four, that card is never centered anywhere you see it. Very pleased with it. Back to some 88 Fleer. There's the Jordan sticker at a five. Always a tough grade, this one is. I thought, man, this one's clean. I know it's not perfectly centered. I think this belt would always get a five or six on that card if I submit it. Here's the base Jordan seven. I think that's pretty good. That one's off centered here. Kind of everything crammed down to the right bottom, but really pleased with that. Got a Kobe Bryant inside stuff insert I got from the 97 Tops packs, and there is a nine. Pretty cool card. Michael Jordan, Upper Deck McDonald's, eight and a half. Skybox Jordan, 92, 93, and a nine. I've hit, hit the gold 10 on this one before. I'd have liked to done that again. Got the 96, 97 upper deck, Jordan 89. Pretty solid. 
not you know not hitting tens or anything we got some really sweet decent grades here there we go nine and a half on the 96 97 tops jordan not complaining about these got a nine on the 97 98 tops and another 97 98 tops coming in at a nine and we got a kobe on the 97 98 that's second year kobe 98, 99 tops, eight and a half, just getting worse. I gotta stop going back to the vintage basketball. There's a Wilt 74, 75 tops at a six and a half. Had the print mark there. I thought that was gonna hurt it, but that turned out pretty good too. Another print mark there. 75, 76, Bill Walton, not centered, but good looking shape on it. Got some surface scratches going on, but pleased with that. Here is a, I believe it's a Rick Berry rookie at a three. Really good looking card, a lot of eye appeal on that one. Must have had some surface stuff going on that I couldn't see, but pretty good looking card there. Um, and then one last graded one here, looks like another Kobe Bryant, second year 97, 98 at an eight. Hate the end on that. Let's see which one they would not grade. Uh, yeah, just the panel on the 1980 Tops bird that would not grade it. I think it's either Beckett or one of those that will uh, grade those. Appreciate you tuning in. Sorry it's been a while since I put up a video. Hope you enjoyed um, this December 2023 reveal of my latest SGC submission. Hope you hit like and subscribe and tune in next time to GB's Card Show.